Hello everybody. So, it has been quite a while since I last uploaded. I know I say this every single video I do. Um, reason being is I haven't really been motivated to do anything. Um, as most of you may know, my dog did pass away on May 4th, which was about a month and two days ago. Let's just say about a month ago. And I knew... Uh, pretty much he's been in my life ever since I was a child. Uh, he lived to about 14 years. Um, and it was quite shitty to go through. Uh, I've never really dealt with animal deaths in my life yet. Or previously, because um, I've only had a dog, and that's the only dog I've ever had. Um, I did have one previously when I was really young, but he had to be... Um, he had, we needed to find him a different owner because he was quite, you know, crazy. <laughs> uh, he was like an outdoor dog and he didn't like being inside. He was quite violent and shit. So the, the dog that just recently passed away, uh, he lived to about 14, as I just said. Um, and it sucked uh, quite badly. Uh, never dealt with it. You know, I've had this cat for a couple years now, I think. Um, she's in her 20s. Um, and, yeah, I'm not very good at dealing with death. Well, I am, you know, I, I look at things logically and stuff like that, but dealing with animal death can be very difficult. Um, so, yeah, that's probably why I haven't really uploaded in quite a bit. Um not very used to it, um, still not, you know, still miss him quite a lot, uh, but yeah, thank you guys for all the, uh, wonderful things you have said, uh, about everything, um, so yeah, let's get into the video, you know, enough sadness, uh, you know, everybody deals with death, you know, I deal with it pretty well, um, but he was old, he had, um, cancer all over, uh, couldn't walk anymore, couldn't, uh, couldn't, he had used the bathroom all over himself, he couldn't move, so he had to be put down, uh, so yeah, but today's video is about, uh, difference between on medication and off medication, and the medication I'm talking about specifically is antipsychotic medication, um, I've had a lot, like, a lot of experience, hey, no, 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 quit meowing, at least not right now. I'm making a video. Um, I've had a lot of experience with being off medication and on medication. I have been on medication pretty much since I was 15, I think. At least antipsychotics. Calm down. Um, and there's a huge difference between being off medication and being on medication. Uh, first, I'll talk about what's it like being off medication. Being off medication, you literally have no idea what's real and what's not real. And we're talking about just schizophrenia here. We're not talking about any other illness because I don't know that much about every other illness. Because I've had schizophrenia for most of my life, I would say. Um, and being off medication, you have absolutely no idea what's real and what's not real. And you, for me at least, I kind of know when I'm being delusional. I kind of know when I'm having a delusional episode, because even now on medication, I'm dealing with, um, hey, calm down, hey, sorry guys, um, even right now I'm dealing with delusions, even on medication, you know, my delusions don't seem to go away ever, I barricade my door all the time, always worried that somebody's gonna try to harm me or kill me, and that's just how it is for me, uh, hallucinations kind of are subsided, you know, I don't really hallucinate that much when I'm on medication, it's more about delusions, that's the stuff I have the most problem with, and off medication, you know, kind of just go through with every single thought that you have, that or abnormal thought that you have, and it is really, really annoying to deal with, um, and for myself, I'm quite good at dealing with things, uh, by myself, I don't really ask people for help, I don't really 
go through any of that stuff with uh, needing people to help me or anything. I, I've always dealt with it all my, by myself. And just about yesterday or the day before, I was hallucinating all day. Um, mostly all day, I'll say. Not all day, but mostly because the medication was kind of leaving my system because uh, I was up for quite a while. And the hallucinations I were having were people. Hey, calm down, please. Calm down. Sorry. The hallucinations that were happening, I would see my chair literally turn to look at me. And then when I would look at it, it would turn back like that. And that kept happening over and over and over again. And then I would see people walking towards me. Some guy was walking towards me. He was wearing, like, overalls and he was wearing, you know, plaid shirt. He was like a hillbilly type guy with a cigarette. And he was walking towards me and then disappeared. And I would have, like, multiple people just start walking towards me and then disappearing and that is not fun to deal with you know that that's the sort of stuff I deal with when I'm off medication you know always people walking towards me trying to harm me that's always the type of hallucinations I'm having and it always has to do with some sort of violence or death kitty please come on now come on please she doesn't listen she she has no capacity to listen um so and even when i'm off medication uh auditory hallucinations or voices are a lot more prone and they happen all the time all the time and um they always want me to harm somebody or harm myself but mostly it's always to harm somebody else and sometimes when you're off medication, it's very hard to deal with that. And a lot of the times in the past, it would feel like I need, I have a, I'm compulsed into harming someone. And that's been happening ever since I was 11 years old. Just the obsessive thought and the obsessive belittering um, of needing to harm someone, harming myself, or something like that. It's always very compulsive. I don't know if other people with schizophrenia deal with this sort of thing. But it's always inside of me. And it's always so compulsive and uh, very scary. Because I don't like having thoughts like that. I don't enjoy really dealing with that sort of stuff. Um, some, most of the time I just want to chill, have fun. That's what I enjoy. You know, I don't enjoy having constant thoughts of harming someone or harming myself. Um... I don't know if all schizophrenic people have that. Um, I don't know if it's just me. But it's uh, very hard to deal with. Um, another thing that happens a lot when I'm off medication and when I'm off me on medication, um, I deal with, I think I'm always being poisoned uh, in my drinks or my food, always. Now, when I'm on medication, um, even though this isn't this doesn't happen 100% of the time, I will know it's not poisoned. But at the same time, my brain will be telling me that it is poisoned and I should not eat it. Um, but when I'm on medication, you know, I'm like, you know what? I know this is a delusion most of the time, so it's not really real. And then when I'm off medication, I won't eat or drink much uh, unless I make it myself, because um, I know. Um, that is a delusion when I'm on medication. When I'm off medication, I, I don't know it's a delusion. Um, I will truly think that somebody's trying to harm me and somebody's trying to kill me. Um, same with packages I get sent. Um, I think that, you know, it's, it has a bomb in it uh, and I won't open it. Or if I'm on medication, you know, I know I've, I have a feeling there's a bomb in it, but I know it's like, oh, come on, that's ridiculous. There's no way there would be a bomb in it. So I would say this, medication does seem to help quite a lot. I know a lot of people out there do not like taking medication, or at least antipsychotic medication. Um, and I can understand why, you know, it's very sedating. It's, uh, it kicks your ass basically, which, you know, sucks. You know, I don't enjoy being on antipsychotics that much, but if I wasn't on antipsychotics, um... I'd be in the hospital, probably. Every single time I've been off antipsychotics, I've been in the hospital. Uh, it's overwhelming to deal with 
all the symptoms of schizophrenia by yourself off medication. It's nearly impossible. Uh, I know I couldn't deal with it. I uh, didn't deal with it well back then. And it ended up me being in the hospital multiple times. Uh, but medication, I'd say, is very good and also can be very bad. You know, these drugs, these antipsychotics are very, very uh, tiring to be on. And I understand that. You know, I've been on it for a very long time now. Uh, seven years. And it is very difficult. But it's something I need to do. It's not... It's something I have to do to get by. Uh, there's nothing else that's really helped me. I've tried multiple things that are not medication. Doesn't help at all. Medication seems to just calm me down. Keep me sane-ish to a point. Um, and yeah, medication has helped me a lot. And it's a huge difference from being on medication and off medication. So yeah, hope you guys do enjoy this video. Um, I will see you guys next time. And I uh, thank you guys all for all the support and stuff. If you guys want to follow me on any of my social medias, they will be down in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.